are you trying to implement offensively? You kind of touched on it after the game on, on Thursday. Yeah, well, one thing for, for a team that I'm coaching and have had the chance to coach is uh, create space because a lot of shots that we have are coming out of the rest uh, where we're too close to each other. The help is always in position there. There's not enough space for a guy to get a clean look. Uh, it's easy for a rotation guy to get back to and contest a shot. So I'm just basically trying to create this proper spacing for this group so that they can have a better open look uh, to shoot the ball as opposed to having someone right on top of them. Uh, the concept I'm saying is the, your best friend now has to become space offensively and then hard cuts. You make hard cuts after you get rid of the basketball, it's going to open something up either for you or for your teammates. So those are little light things we're doing. This, these are things that you normally would do through a course of a training camp, but I got to do it on the fly right now while still trying to keep them free enough to play as athletes. The pace you're, you're trying to play with DeMarcus and Chuck's obviously out, though. How important is it for those guys to be good outlet passers? Oh, very, very important because you look a little bit where the guards are coming back to the, to the rebounder. They have to be able to at least put the ball on the floor a couple times and advance it to the guard so we can get into the open court. And I think they'll learn that. And we'll keep teaching that in either team set settings or uh, when we have a, a skill setting when they're just with a coach and working on those things. So sometimes we can't practice, but we'll have many segments to where the coaches, the assistant coaches, will take their guys and kind of go over the things that we're discussing that they need to do. Uh, I'll let the ball by film or even on individual workout on the floor. How would you assess their skills so far in, in that area? Uh, well, they, and... well they, they know how to, they can rebound and they're good passers. So the first thing to be a, a running team, you got to have the rebound and be a good passer because you don't want turnovers because if you have turnovers in the backcourt, um, you can't defend those because half your team is on the other side of the floor. You're talking a little bit with Coach about the offense, and you mentioned that there was what he's trying to implement in terms of being a running team. For you, you were talking about how it's important for the bigs to – to be good outlet passers. How do you assess your skill level in that area? Well, I think that you got to first secure to get a good outlet and to get uh, tr good transition, you got to get the rebound first. So, you know, obviously box your man out get, and uh, make sure that you uh, put enough on the ball where it can get to your guy safely and it doesn't cause the turnovers. Um, you know, if you start rushing the ball and want to get transition baskets so, you know, so fast, um, then it hurts you on the other end. So, uh, I think that's going to really help us, man. If we really, you know, focus on defense and getting rebounding and out rebound uh, the other team, then uh, fast break points are going to make the offense be so much easier and smoother. How does the, how is the offense from what you've seen in practice today differing from what you guys were doing under Westfall? Uh, we were running, we were running, and we um getting the ball to open guys. And, you know, he, we just playing. You know, um, the main thing he preached today was freedom. You know, um, we have freedom and um. But don't get too crazy with it. But we have freedom, you know, to do our thing and, you know, have fun out there.